I love weed and I smoke weed all the time. People would come up to me on the street and they would say, you're talking about weed. And it's amazing to see a productive member of society not afraid to admit that they smoke weed. That's why this company, you know, became a really exciting passion for me to pursue because mostly it became clear we could speak to a group of people that we are a part of in a way that maybe nobody else could. Stravic started like many of the best things in my life with uh, my wife, Lauren, <laughs> um, and we went and took a ceramics lesson and I really loved it. And I sat down and I thought, uh, what should I make? And the first thing that came to my mind, honestly, was an ashtray because I use ashtrays so much. I, I interact with them all the time. I have a lot of them in my house. And I thought, oh, that'd be fun. Maybe I can make my own ashtray. And ashtrays are just in general, like I found not designed very well. They're often dish shaped. So if you walk past them, there's no wind protection. The ashes blow everywhere. And my thought was, what if it was more of a cup shape, uh, like in a deeper well, so it conceals what's in it, you know? And what if there was a little notch so you can rest what you're smoking in uh, on the side of it and it doesn't fall in and there's a little like perch for it. In doing that, I kind of, both fell in love with ceramics and found that I was able to kind of create this thing that people really responded to. I started just posting photos of them uh, on my social media. The response was so good that that became the conversation. Houseplant was being made in parallel and we're like, oh, maybe some of these things that I'm also making that people really love, maybe we can kind of uh, produce these um, through Houseplant. A lot of our home goods, the prototypes were physically designed by me, where literally they will take things from my studio and measure them and, and model them and make 3D printed representations of them and those will be taken and then produced. I wish I had the time to physically be making um, stuff to sell. <laughs> I probably spend half my time working on houseplants at least. It is a creative outlet for me, like movies. And there are things about them that I view very similarly. With movies, I found the more work I put in and the more effort and time and consideration we put into making a product that is reflective of what we love and what we're passionate about, the better the product is, the more everyone likes it, and the more money it makes. And that is the exact philosophy that we bring to houseplant is with movies, it's what movies would we want to watch. With this, it's like, what would we want in our house? It's almost more personal in some ways. A lot of this stuff is kind of meant to show some of the journeys between how we start out with some of the products and um, and where they go. Well, the whole thing was a little too heavy. It's all just, yeah, it, it, and it was just a little rougher at first. Yeah, the hinges kind of had a few more problems. They, were, they, they weren't as good as they ultimately became. There was a point in my life where I thought, have I put more thought into ashtrays than maybe any person on the planet? And I don't know if I have, but if they were to make a list of the top 10, I would venture to say that I'd be somewhere on there. <laughs>